Well, Savwinch is an Australian owned and operated company. Nick made his first winch over 15 years ago, and I've got to say, they are pieces of engineering excellence. Just look at the way these things are glistening in the sun. Now, in every range, there is a good, better, best. And as my dad always said, try and buy the best you can afford at the time. And these things, they will never ever let you down. But the thing that excites me most about these is the fast fall unit. It's the 10% of things that make all the difference when you're on the water. And this is one of them. Now I've got mates with winches. They're not sav winch. They made a mistake because when they're out in the bay here, they'll sound snapper. And by the time their old winch goes, dun, 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 gets to the bottom, they're nowhere near the fish. With this system on my boat, I press the button, she plummets, and I'm exactly where I found those fish. And guess what? I actually catch them. Then bow spritz. Again, the little things. This holds your anchor, that big anchor away from your boat. And again, the angle that anchor sits on allows it to fall off the front of the boat, even on glass calm days. Little things make the massive difference. And how nice is this one? It actually swivels to make sure the anchor deploys very, very quickly. And speaking of anchors, how beautiful are these? Absolute works of art. Now this here is known as the slider. It is an absolute gun. Just watch this. <laughs> And you may think, what's that all about? It's simple. If you happen to be out in the bay, the ocean, anywhere in Australia or the world, and your anchor gets snagged, you can literally drive the boat forward, and this happens. When this comes to here, you keep driving, and it'll actually pull the anchor back out the way it went in, because that's the only way you're gonna get it back. Super, super clever. But then this style here, this is the anchor I have on my boat, it is called the claw slider. I reckon it's the best anchor design ever made, again, in gal and stainless. And you might think, how does an anchor this size hold such a big boat? Well, it's all about the chain. You've got to have plenty of chain, and Savage, you've got you covered there as well. The chain lays out on the seabed, and as the nose of your boat lifts with the waves, the chain lifts. If you haven't got enough chain, it'll lift the anchor out. So a big, long length of light chain will hold you there a lot better than a big, strong, massive anchor. But these things are, as I said, absolute works of art. And then you have all the accessories, those little things that give you anchoring perfection. They have literally thought of everything. But this is the thing that excites me the most. And you might just go, hmm, a drummer rope. But it's all about the thickness and strength of that rope. So the thinner the rope is, the more you're gonna fit on the drum, the deeper you can anchor. The other thing is too, when you've got current, etc., tied, the thinner that rope is, the less drag you're gonna get in the water. So this is special Dyneema rope. Dyneema, believe it or not, is the stuff they actually make those bulletproof vests out of. It is tough as nails, just like your braid you use when you're catching a kingfish or a snapper. So go Dyneema if you can. It has so many benefits. And just before we finish, this stuff here, it's life changing. It's actually called chain guard. You slide it over your chain, so when you're fishing shallow water for species like whiting that might spook, this goes down, takes all that clunkety clunk noise out, and seriously, you put it on, you catch more fish. Plus, it protects your boat. It's called a win-win. So Savwinch, over 15 years, these guys, they literally love anchoring, and so do I, because when I get a solid hold, I catch more fish.